The ROG Strix Scopes 2 96% wireless keyboard starts at a price point of $179.99 and is very similar to a cheaper keyboard called the Royal Kludge 96 but is practically better in every way. So let's see if the price point actually matches the performance. So inside the box you get the keyboard itself, it comes with the manual, a switch and keycap puller, two extra switches, and their own wireless extender as well as a wrist rest. So you are getting a lot in the box and it's very nice to see that this is a hot swappable keyboard. With that being said, the keycaps are double shot PBT. They are OEM profile though. So I'm not too big of a fan of the keycap profile. I said it on the Azoth video that kind of plays a part in this one as they are very similar, but if you do like the keycap profile, the quality is great. The switches you can choose from are the ROG Snow Switch or the Storm. The Snow is their linear version and that is what I have here today. And the Storm is their clicky version. No tactile yet, but I hope to see that in the future. The linear switch is pre-lubed and honestly you don't need to do anything to them right out of the box. I think they are great and I have no real issues with them. In terms of sound and feel, this keyboard does have a plastic bottom housing and a steel top plate. So it does sound pretty standard to like your RK61 or anything that pretty much features a steel plate because a steel plate kind of kills any sound profile that a keyboard may or may not have. Now the reason why this keyboard isn't fully aluminum is because they have a really high quality wireless chipset in this keyboard that could have some interference issues with a fully aluminum keyboard. So that is the reason why they choose to go for a plastic bottom housing, which can give you up to like 2000 Hertz polling rate, I believe on wireless mode, which is insane. Now this is in terms of like 2.4 Hertz, but they do also have Bluetooth. The wireless connectivity is amazing. You know, I didn't have any issues when it comes to that. And I think that is the biggest selling point of ROG keyboards in general. But if you're not using wireless or you don't care about anything wireless, the wired mode does have, I believe, 4,000 Hertz polling rate. So that is still higher than your 1,000 Hertz polling rate or anything else you would see on the keyboard I compared it to in the beginning, the RK96. The wrist rest is magnetic, but I don't think there's enough padding I do wish it was a slightly thicker padding as it does kind of feel tough or not as comfortable as I would have expected for a wrist rest. But I think another big selling point is the top right of the keyboard has a volume knob and that button right next to it changes what that volume knob does. Now that knob can do a variety of things. Obviously the most notable one would be to lower and raise the volume, but it can also control media playback and tweak keyboard lighting as well. So it's kind of multi-function button. Another cool thing in the gamer side is that the F1 through F5 row of the keyboard is already mapped towards the hotkeys for the Xbox game bar and recording functions. So it's easy access if you do like to record clips while you're gaming. Now I do think this keyboard overall is a great keyboard specifically for gaming purposes. I do think it lacks in the sound and feel department, but it makes up for it in the wireless capabilities and just that high hertz polling rate. If you weren't going to mod a keyboard, I do think this sounds pretty much like an RK96 fully modded when you've lubed the switches and stabilizers, added foam and stuff like that. So this kind of removes all of the necessity to do that while giving you that great wireless capabilities. So if you have more budget or if what your build was going to cost comes about to the price point of this keyboard, I honestly say spare you the trouble and buy this one. But if you don't care about wireless stuff, if you don't care about the gaming features, then this keyboard obviously will not be for you. Here's a quick sound test you guys can hear how it sounds.
Overall, like I said, it doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't sound amazing. And I do think there are better keyboards out there for the price point in the sound and feel department. But if those gaming features really stand out to you, I'll be leaving a link to this keyword in the description below. But let me know what you guys thought about the ROG Strix Scope 2 96 wireless mechanical keyboard in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.